What you guys got another video? Microsoft get rid of the blue screen of death after 40 years. So the blue screen of death, BSOD for short, in Windows is caused by a critical error that forces the system to shut down to prevent any further damage. These errors can stem from many different things, including faulty hardware, driver problems, software conflicts, or even malware. So when you turn your PC on or you're on your PC, you may suddenly get a blue screen of death and what will happen is it will stop you using that system. It will normally shut down and restart and you could end up in a reboot loop where you're having this issue over and over again. And it will look something like this that you see on the screen and it could mean many different things for why you're receiving the blue screen of death. So why are Microsoft suddenly putting all of this energy into changing the blue screen of death or getting rid of the blue screen of death. Well, they're not actually getting rid of it. They have tried the black screen of death, but this caused major problems. Lots of people complained about the black screen of death. People got up in arms and started raging and ranting on the internet as they do about certain things. And of course, Microsoft then actually pulled the plug on the black screen of death and reverted back to the blue screen of death. And that's what we've stuck with for all these years. Now, it's not to say that Microsoft haven't dabbled in other colors. The red screen of death was in Vista days, and that was in the very early release. They've even uh, added the green screen of death, and this is in the beta channel, as you can see here on Microsoft's website. So they're providing more and more streamlined UI for unexpected restarts, which better align with Windows 11. So basically what they're doing here, this is on the Insider program on the Beta and Dev and uh, Canary uh, channels. And you may see this rolled out in the near future where you'll get some form of green screen. But this is going to be the new black screen. They've gone back to the black screen idea, but they've mentioned this all on their website to make it easier to navigate unexpected restarts and to recover the system faster. This is a new way of fixing and repairing Windows when you get a screen error like this one right here. So they're saying they're concentrating on the ability to maintain productivity and minimize the disruptions that is caused by these unexpected restarts through a error on the system, whether it'll be from hardware, driver problems, software, or even malware or other sort of conflicts on the system. So they're adding a quick machine recovery, which is a recovery mechanism for PCs that cannot restart successfully. This change is part of a larger continued effort to reduce disruption in the event of a unexpected restart. So the Windows 11 24H2 release included improvements to crash dump collection, which is your dump files that end up in that dump file area where all your blue screen files are normally added with all the information about what's caused the actual crash. Now, Microsoft say here that the release includes improvements to the crash dump collection, which reduces downtime during the unexpected restart to about two seconds for most users. Now, Microsoft has said they're also introducing a simplified user interface, which is your UI, which you see on the screen right here, that pairs with the shortened experience. This means that the updated UI improves readability and aligns better with Windows 11 design principles while preserving the technical information on the screen uh, when it's needed. Now, normally when the system restarts, it will automatically restart and you don't get time to read that screen. You have to uncheck the automatically restart and it will stay on the screen. So now they're trying to improve that by keeping it on the screen and giving you more time to be able to read the error code and the error, which is normally at the bottom of the screen. So the simplified UI for unexpected restarts will be available starting later this summer on all Windows 11 versions, 24H2 devices and above, of course. Now they also talk about the uh, unexpected restarts on these devices that can get stuck in the Windows recovery environment, which is your Windows RE, impacting productivity and often requiring IT teams to spend uh, you know, specific time troubleshooting and restoring these affected devices. They go on to say this is where the quick machine recovery, QMR for short, can help. 
So when widespread outages happen with these computers that are affected devices from starting properly, Microsoft can broadly develop targeted remedies to the affected devices via the Windows RE, automating the fixes with QMR and quickly uh, getting users back up into a productive state. And this is what they're trying to aim for. Now, it's all well and good saying this in writing, but it's whether this is actually going to work. A lot of this stuff has been going on for many, many years. It's very difficult for a lot of people to fix blue screen of deaths because it could be a hardware issue or a software issue and you need to quickly determine what's caused it. And if you're not technically minded, it can be very difficult. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you have a lovely weekend and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.